Hello, my name is Dr. Trina Kolosnikova, and today I'll be doing my speech on Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, first of all, I wanted to mention to you is that he is someone to admire. He's an inspiration, an educator, and a hero. As many of you probably know, he is a popular TV psychologist, which that's how originally I had heard of him. He provides his information through books, television, and also other media sources. But not only that, there was an article that I had read by Eric Jones from the Ohio Communication Journal, and based off of the Nielsen readings, he had consistently earned the second highest ratings out of all television shows, which I found that to be very impressive and very informative. He covers mental health issues, relationship issues, and that's something that the audience does admire, that's something that the audience can connect with. I also wanted to add that Dr. Phil gives hope. Be someone that individuals look up to, and I find that to be important. Now, for my first main point, Dr. Phil is an inspiration. According to a 2015 article on the website of Broadcasting Cable by Paige Albaniak, she has stated how Dr. Phil had originally started off. He had started by helping Oprah Winfrey out with a lawsuit, and eventually with his help, she started to begin having him on the show and providing information. The audience seemed to enjoy it, and her ratings had increased tremendously. And Oprah had officially started to help Dr. Phil out with creating his own show, and that's how we now know him as a Dr. Phil show. There was also one other article, also with Paige, that she had mentioned. Um, Dr. Phil has an incredible work ethic. He puts his passion, his heart, and his soul into the work that he does. And he finds his audience to be important to him. And that is why Dr. Phil is an inspiration. To review, Dr. Phil is definitely an inspiration. He helps individuals, and he's someone that has started from the bottom and worked all the way up to the top, and now look where he's at. Now, for my second main point, Dr. Phil is an educator. There's an article that I had read by Eric Rasmussen from the Journal of Health Communication he uses books, TV, and other media sources to communicate with his audience and to provide them information and inform them about what's going on, whether it's mental health issues or relationship issues. He is the most comprehensive forum on mental health and TV history. That one sentence is something that caught me. That one sentence that Eric had mentioned is something that I found to be very important. Not only that, but there was also one other article that I found to be very informative. It was a source from 2014 by the WME IMG speakers. It has biographies of not notable individuals. And I found that to be a great source to use. Now, he had told millions of individuals in his own way to get real. And that's something that's very upfront and great standing. He told people to pretty much just stand up, get off the couch, and deal with their life and go for it. You know, work towards their dreams. And Dr. Phil is an educator. To review it, he informs people in the easiest way so they are aware of what exactly is going on. He educates them in a way without using big gigantic words. He uses simple words, simple enough so that his audience can actually understand. And of course, he allows them to stand up and work for themselves. Now for my third main point, Dr. Phil is a hero. There's an article that I had read back from 2013 by a passion for kids on a website on Look to the Stars that explained a situation of an 18-month-old boy by the name of Isaiah. He was paralyzed permanently by an uninsured, illegal teen driver. And because of that driver, this little boy had to, of course, be in the hospital, had to go through many surgeries and all of that. But Dr. Phil had taken his time to actually help the family out. He had started a foundation for Isaiah so that they would be able to see that he does really truly want to help him. And with that foundation, the family's bills were able to be paid, and not only that, but also Isaiah got some kind of hope from Dr. Phil and the audience. Now, in regarding to that, not only did Isaiah get that foundation, but his family also was provided a vehicle. A vehicle so that the little boy could finally get the assistance that he needs if he needs to go to the hospital or any of that. And I found that to be pretty impressive, Dr. Phil. There was one other article that I also read from Eric, once again, from the Journal of Health Communications. 
our audience can use Dr. Phil as a self-diagnosis tool. Since sometimes not every individual wants to go to a hospital or a doctor, but they find that Dr. Phil is an inspiration to be looking up towards, and when they listen to him, they can actually self-diagnose, whether it's themselves, their family, their friends, relatives, whoever it may be. And I find that to be important. To review my third main point, Dr. Phil is definitely a hero. He helps individuals self-diagnose if need be, and seek the treatment if needed be also. And he helps individuals who are in need. Now, for my conclusion. Dr. Phil is an inspiration, an educator, and a hero. He helps millions, and he continues to do so as of today. But not only that, he has the opportunity to help many, because he's on the television show, he has books, he uses other media sources. Because of all of that, Dr. Phil is someone who is inspiration, an educator, and a hero. As I have wanted to mention once again, Dr. Phil is someone to admire. Mm -hmm.